Well, Aloha Friday. Today we're talking about parties, so we had to dress the part with custom Hawaiian shirts for my alma mater, MTSU. Aloha! <laughs> yes, Andrew, he's with MTSU, and he was wearing one of these shirts, and we had to fit the vibe. He is the party master, and he's here. You well, are. You you wanted a shirt. I had to deliver. Oh, I mean, did. Uh, he's too good. He's too good. He's here to talk about this major upcoming celebration. You guys are going to be carrying the vibe all throughout the weekend. Busy and it weekend. starts tonight on Broadway. Tell us all about it. We're really so happy to partner with Big Machine Music City Grand Prix. And they're having a Freedom Friday celebration on Lower Broad, free and open to the public. They're, they've got music, got fun, and all having great times there. But they're doing this to honor veterans, Freedom Friday, and our Daniels Center, the Charlie and ha Hazel Daniels Veterans and Military Family Center, front and center with your buddy, uh -huh. Lieutenant General Keith Huber. Yes, he's going to be busy there. Tell us more yes. about that center named after our late friend, Charlie Daniels, it and his is. lovely yeah. wife, Hazel. General Huber, the founder of that center. We serve about 1,200 student veterans at MTSU, but we serve all veterans, regardless of their affiliation to the university, help solve their problems, connect them to the VA to get benefits and services, and also for our student veterans, make sure they graduate and succeed. Great work. So amazing. All right, I got to talk about the party that continues over the weekend. Saturday, Party in the Grove. Hey, hey. Party in the Grove. Party in the Grove. We're so excited. Hunter Girl joining us. Our grad Hunter Girl joining us. We're just, yes. we're so thrilled. Uh, we put in a request with Danielle that we get good weather. Yes. We're going to follow <laughs> through on this. Uh, it starts at 3 o'clock. Uh, the, the party in the Grove, three hours before kickoff, six o'clock kickoff okay. against Western Kentucky University, our rival. But Raider Walk, like you're seeing now, Coach Mason bringing the team in, Hunter Girl uh, taking the stage around four o'clock, all free and open to the public at Walnut Grove, the uh -huh. great celebration yard of the university. Yes, we're seeing video from the very first one you all had. This is new this year. I love this. How did the first one go? It went it went so very well. We got that nice little window before uh, the rain started, uh -huh. uh, you know, uh -huh. but uh, the party in the Grove went off great. Uh, we started a brand new tradition. Follow me to, to Floyd, where our student body president marched everybody out of the Grove to the stadium, and it was a really great vibe, and uh, we're just so excited not only to we have Hunter Girl this time around, but next week, Homecoming. Cadillac 3. Cadillac Ooh, 3. Yes. And, hey, a little breaking news that we've moved that game time to start at 3 o'clock oh. next Saturday. Ooh. Not this one, 6 o'clock tomorrow for Western, mm -hmm. but the Duke game, 3 o'clock. And Homecoming. so Party in the Grove will be at noon. Okay. On, on homecoming. Get your news here. Yes. Breaking. Okay. Blue Raiders. We got a game this weekend. We have that big homecoming game mm -hmm. next week. How has Coach been doing and acclimating? I loved seeing that video of him hanging out with the students. So sweet. It's yeah. awesome. Coach insisted. I don't know if you saw when he was walking the, the Raider walk. He wanted the team. He wanted to touch the horseshoe statue, which is our symbol mm -hmm. for good luck. He wanted to start a brand new tradition on campus, and he succeeded. Uh, Party in the Grove. This is huge pep rally. He was 100%. But really a, a big behind. Uh, force to make that happen. President McPhee, of course, made it all happen for us. But it, it really just allows us all to celebrate a new beginning in football. Mm -hmm. I love that all the people you have performing at Party in the Grove mm -hmm. have these MTSU ties. Hunter Girl obviously graduated from there. And I also love that she kind of carries on y'all's mission about supporting the veterans through her music. All her time at MTSU as a student in the College of Media and Entertainment, where you came yes, from. Thank yes. you so much. Uh, she led support and sang at General Huber's events. Uh, supporting our veterans, and she continues to do this today. That's why we're just so thrilled that Dean Beverly Keel from your college mm -hmm, yes. invited her to come play at Party in the Grove and be uh, among our first set of performers. It's awesome, awesome. Like, well, and seeing Hunter Girl and our own Stephanie Langston, right? how does it feel to see your alma mater really shining and succeeding in life? You know, it's, it's wonderful when we can have events like Party in the Grove. Uh, where we can celebrate the success of our alums. Every act this uh, this season that we're having in the Grove are all alums, have alum ties. Two of the three, Cadillac three, are, are our alums. Mm -hmm. So it really lets us celebrate their success and it allows others to kind of see what you could do with an MTSU degree. Absolutely. Wear one of these. You could wear, yes, you one, could wear of one of these. How, How about that, the dance? right? So I, feel like <laughs> I will not do that because I won't do it justice. Okay. But everyone at home, remember, you can keep up with the Blue Raiders and all of their athletic events. Go to GoBlueRaiders.com.